this is Stacey Higginbotham with GigaOM, and I'm here with Drew Clark, Director of Strategy for IBM's Corporate Venture Group. Hi, Drew. Hi. Hi, Stacey. We're here to talk about, we'll talk about cloud first. Mm -hmm. um, IBM's play in the clouds, because I look at it and I think you guys have made some very big announcements. You've brought accountability for your cloud group up to the CEO level. So what exactly is IBM thinking it's going to do in the clouds? Well, basically, Stacey, it's, it's where our customers are going to take us. And so our customers right now are all in the process of kind of, you know, kicking the tires, so to speak, on the cloud. And they're coming into our cloud centers and trying to kind of experiment around, you know, where should these applications run? Where should the data be? Do I want to go with a private cloud? Do I want to throw things onto Amazon, a public kind of thing? Do I want something in between? So we're kind of in that process now about better understanding our customer workloads, what they want to do, and then I think uh, you know we'll be ready then to uh, to make some announcements. Okay, and the cloud centers, those aren't actually clouds where people can host their applications. That's right. These are sandboxes, Stacy, where customers can come in, maybe the, the IT team and the business team, and kind of have that discussion with IBM around, it facilitates that discussion around, you know, what do they really want out of cloud? What are their expectations? Are the workloads appropriate to running in the cloud at this time? Are they appropriate to, again, uh, a secure kind of behind the firewall thing or maybe something that stretches out to uh, you know, external clouds? Okay, and as part of this, you kind of drew this nice little diagram of all these different clouds kind of at the bottom layer, maybe an IBM cloud, maybe an AWS cloud. Sure. Where does IBM see itself kind of offering the most value? Where are you guys looking for participation from startups? Great question, yeah. So we view this as totally an ecosystem project. So we're really looking to say, you know, given where our customers want to go, what kind of, of value do they want in terms of, of you know, infrastructure to platform to SaaS to maybe even business processes at the top? And you know, we're going to play where we need to play, but we're going to do this in an ecosystem way, we're going, to, we're going to partner with startups principally, but all kinds of ISVs to kind of flesh out all those pieces. So we think that this is a great opportunity to work with startup companies around not only the the, the, the bottom of the stack, but also up to the to the more interesting, uh, uh, you know, uh, higher margin stuff at the top. Okay, and I just talked to somebody at IBM, and you guys don't have an EC2 kind of product yet, or like an infrastructure, but you guys do have hosting. So can you kind of clarify for me today, if I'm trying to look at IBM's cloud strategy, what's actually there in... Sure, good question. Here, we're competing with the birds a little bit. Uh, but we basically, uh, about a month ago, we announced um, IBM um, middleware capabilities on Amazon's cloud, right? Um, on EC2. And I think that's a good indication of kind of, you know, where part of that direction is going is providing uh, true, you know, enterprise class middleware out on the cloud. And so that's that's the first of many steps. But I think you can kind of see that, that, you know, from our point of view, we want to embrace both that ecosystem and everything that's good about, you know, the Amazon system, but also make sure that we understand and provide value for our customers who want to keep parts of their applications, you know, behind there. So we're also developing, um, as we speak, um, um, you know, enterprise class cloudware that can run inside a firewall as well. So I think you're going to see us in both places and then also that, that interesting third type, the hybrid cloud, where we're going to provide enterprise, enterprise, yeah, enterprise class cap capabilities um, for customers who also want to be able to reach out and take advantage of, of public clouds. All right, well thank you so much, Drew. Anything sure. else you want to add? Uh, no, but it's great to be in Austin. Awesome.